Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Captec Pro. In this video, we will see how we can copy a file from one document library to another in SharePoint Online using Power Automate Flow. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's start our today's video demonstration. So friends, before we proceed to our lab environment, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe and please press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center and to demonstrate today's video, I have created one site with the name of Move and Copy. I will open the site in a new tab. Now on the site Move and Copy, we'll go to Site Contents. And here I have uh, two document library which I have created, one with the name of Source. Let me open it in the new tab and another one is the name of the destination. Alright. So uh, my end goal is like uh, whenever any user will you know edit or modify this document one copy of this document should you know automatically go to the my document library which has the name destination. So let's see how we can do that using the power automate. So I will click on this app launcher and here we have the option of power automate. Let me open the power automate in the new tab. All right. So uh, we have to create a brand new flow. So in Power Automate, I will click on create. And here, if you will scroll a bit down, it will show you an option start from a connector. And here you could see there's the option of SharePoint. So we'll click on SharePoint. So it will show you the trigger and all which are, you know, pre-built. So uh, like here are the options like when a file is created, properties only, when a file or folder is created, when a file is created or modified. So we'll select this trigger. Okay. So when a file is created or modified. So first of all, uh, I will provide my site address, which is move and copy. So in the drop down menu, it will load and you could see this is my, you know, site URL. This is my site. You can also enter the site address manually. Now it's asking us to enter the library name. So if you click on the drop down, so there are three document libraries which resides inside my site move and copy. So we'll pick source. Now, if you want to target any specific folder inside the document library source, you can target it by clicking on this uh, show picker, but it's clearly mentioned like or leave blank for the whole library. So I want to target the entire library. So we'll leave this blank. Now we'll click on new step and here we can, uh, search for the SharePoint. All right. So you could see this is our SharePoint. We'll click on it. Now it, you can select the triggers. Basically we have already selected a trigger. Now we have to select the action. So what basically you want when a file is created or modified. So we want to copy file. So we'll click on copy file. Now here we have to enter where this, uh, basically the file resides, which you want to copy. So it resides on the same site. Move and copy. We'll select this. Now file to copy. So here we have to, you know, I will type identifier value that can be used in a file related actions for selected a file. We'll select this now destination site address. Now the destination site address is also same because it resides inside the move and copy site. So we'll select this. Now we have to select the destination folder. So we'll click on this. If you'll scroll up, you could see this is our document library with the name of destination. We'll select this. Now the another option is if another file already there, like in the destination document library, if the file with the same name will be already there, what action you want to perform it? It will give you three options like copy a file, copy with a new name, fail this action or replace. So we'll select copy with a new name. All right. So our flow is now successfully created. So now let's see. We'll save this flow. All right. So it's saying your flow is ready to go. We recommend you to test it. All right. So our flow is ready. We can click on test and now we'll click on manually. So we'll click on test. So it's asking us to see it workflow perform the starting action. So we'll go to our library here. I will open this uh, document and now let me try to modify this document. So here I will type Captech Pro. All right. Now our document is saved. We'll close this. Now we'll go to Power Automate. You could see your flow is now running because we have triggered it. We have edited the document. So it's saying nine seconds, 12 seconds. Now our flow is successfully ran and it's now we'll go to our source. This is our document, which we have edited it. 
now we'll go to the destination library and you could see a copy of the document has been moved to the document library destination let me open this and you can see the document which we edited in the source library is now a copy of that document is moved to our destination document library so friends that's how using the power automate flow so you can copy a file from you know one document library to another so that's conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video